Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and an unboxing of a very unique and old kit that was sent to me by a real good friend named Ellis who wanted me to build this kit up for y'all. Uh, I want to do an unboxing today and just show you how cool this kit is. Um, it's made by metal uh, by Gabriel and it's a metal kit. So it was a little too big to fit right under the camera. So I'm doing it this way for right now. Let me flip this, uh, put the camera in the mount, and I will bring you right back. Okay, let's dig into this box. Like I said, this is an oldie. Um, I can remember when I was, dang it, I, I don't know how young I was, but one of my brothers had a metal kit, and I can remember um, putting screws in it. I mean, I don't know how old I was, but I was dang young because this is one of like the first memories I have, and this is really bringing nostalgia up for me. But this is a one twenty a one twentieth scale kit. The box is built thickly and and really stout. There, uh, we got some old 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 directions right on top. So I'm going to pull them out and then check this out. We have glass. Um, back in the day, that's what we get for your glass. So, let me move that out of the way. As a matter of fact, I'll move this whole box out of the way. And we'll start seeing what's in here. The top. We have some plastic pieces. Let me grab my knife open this up. I can already tell you that I'm, I'm kind of amazed at the detail and how thin everything is cast already. I haven't even gotten it out of the bag. Check the bag, make sure it's empty. She is. We got our roof right on top. Move this out of the way. Look at there. This is why you always watch. I have no clue what that is, but it's going in the box. <laughs> Here's our roof with some awesome texture on the top. Really nice. We got a little bit of, of flash right here and here, but nothing that I can't do quick with a file. The inside got a couple of pin lines or pin marks. Nothing major. See how this is squared out so you can glue that glass in there. We will use some uh, gloss Mod Podge to do that when we put it in and it'll look good looking at it this way and looking at it that way. So there is our roof. Our first sprue coming at you. We have a seat just sitting on top. And <laughs> look at that. Talk about detail. Uh, you got to remember man this is back in the day where when they did these molds, they had to cut all this out with the little tiny chisels and etch them and all that. There are some talented people back then. This is awesome. You know, you, you think about, we can pound stuff out with a calculator and 3D print it and all. But that detail was all done by hand. Figuring out the, the uh, scale with a slide rule. And then cutting everything out. That had to have taken... That would take me a year to do. But anyhow, let's move on. We have another <laughs> another loose seat. Same thing. Great mold on it. I mean, this is molded very well. Now we'll move on to the first sprue, which is spoked tire or spoke rims. Probably rims and tires, to be honest with you. Our exhaust. One piece exhaust, exhaust manifold, all kinds of parts that I have no clue what they are. Water pump, we got a pulley, we got what looks like our intake, our exhaust, all kinds of neat stuff here. The detail is fantastic. The detail, and look at it, even has, I hope you can see that, I'm going to keep moving that around. But it even has the, the Ford uh, logo in there on for the floor mat. Look at that. 
So cool. That is our first bag. Our second bag, well, it's not even a bag. Uh, we have our chrome. This is gold. This is literally chrome. It's, it's chrome gold. I thought it was just faded chrome, but I look at the picture, and the picture shows that as gold trim. So there is that. Oh, we do have we have rubber tires in here, just laying loose in the in the box. Four white rubber tires. Five white rubber tires with with a, just a single slot tread on them. Nothing fancy. We will sand those and, and do them because he wants me to build this, and I will be glad to. We have another chrome bag. You got to excuse me. My sinuses are killing me here. The weather's just still playing ping pong. Man, is that unbelievably sweet. Look at that radiator. God dang, is that nice. I'll just use Tammy a panel liner on there and done. Again, the radiator box with the Ford logo in it. Look at that. Look at the headlights. Oh, are those the headlights? If those are the headlights, I might try to get light in them. <laughs> we'll see, but you know, we'll see how things work out. But I might. This is so finely detailed. Modern builders, modern cars, uh, models should take note. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of geeking out here. And now this has a rubber hose. Some bushings and a whole bunch of screws. I'm not opening that. We have a vinyl decal all punched out. The wood grain all punched out 1909, 1912. Your choice of uh, license plates. Man, I wonder if that would even go on. We'll see. We'll see. I'm putting that right back in the box. All right. Like I said, this is a metal kit. There's your, your carriage. Look at the framework in there. Look at the little pieces of the white pot coming off of there. This is really nice. I can't tell you because I have no clue of what kit... Uh, one of my brothers had, but I do remember him letting me put a screw in it, and I'm telling you, that's one of the, the oldest memories I have. Look at, there's the side. Beautiful. A lot of, a lot of sanding. I, I will be using um, different files. I don't want to use my plastic files on these, because I think that this will dull them quick. There's one side. The other side, same thing. Just got two locator pins. And yes, after all those years, this kit's going to get built just like it should have. Locator marks. Screws will screw that in. And check it out. I'm geeking out here, guys. I really am. This is so cool. Look at our seat back here. I don't know if that's supposed to be cut off. I imagine it is because that's just where the mold goes. But this is so cool. So the seat will sit up on here to bring to raise that one seat up. Let me move that out of the way. We have a whole bag of white metal. Another piece of rubber laying in the bottom of the box. How oh, that could have ever gotten out of a bag is beyond me. These bags have never been opened. 
I'll grab the directions here in a minute, see if I can find a copyright date on the directions. But here's all, this is a, a different era, man. This is back when you were a modeler, you had to work for your money. We talk about Flash today? <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. All this has to be removed. All this. This is all considered Flash. All this piece, this will have to be sanded smooth. We'll have to sand the number off, get these looking right, because they're just molded like that. These pieces, I'm pretty sure these are just mold ends on here. Here is our front um, hood cover. Look, it's even got the hinges uh, molded in and down. And yep, see, these are where the, the they poured the metal in to fill this mold. I'm not sure if they were sand molds or how they do them back in the day to do, you know, to make all these models. But check it out the back of the radiator. That'll screw in right here. And this is where I crack up when people complain about flash. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're not going to just take a, your X-Acto knife and trim this out. This is going to have to be, be cut out of here and then sanded down really nice. These are all going to have to be cut off of here. It's like a different, a whole different era, man. It really is. Look at here all the little parts and all the detail in them i'm just going to go through here real quick our suspension this will be the front suspension look at it has the little hoops here i imagine those are to hold the the uh, headlights in how cool would that be to take a metal kit that's this old and add led lights to it your engine <laughs> that's great that is great. That's the bottom, the bottom of the engine. Look, it even has the, the areas where the crank would fit. And here is your engine halves. Look at it, it says Ford on there. As plain as plain as day. How about that? Molded right into that. That is amazing work. Jeez. The other uh, hood cover goes right up and matches on the top. Another, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like our steering column. Yeah, because there's the, the magneto adjuster. This would be your steering column, and the steering wheel will go onto that. And I'm saying that like I know what it is. I think this, I don't know what that is. That's... That's where your steering column goes into, I think. There, your gas pedal. We'll have to see. That's probably your valve cover or your head top. These old engines, I have no clue. And then it's the bottom. Uh, probably your suspension where your wheels get held in place. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But that kind of looks like we're going in this way and this way with your spindle arms on the top. And then I got a bunch of white metal. We're going to save every piece of this just in case we need it. But there we go. The 1909 Model T Touring. There's all the parts. Let me grab these directions here. And... Uh, We'll see if we can find a copyright date. This has been around for quite a while, guys. Jeez, oh Pete. I am sorry, but it is in uh, <laughs> Roman numerals. I'll bring it up there. You can read it, and we can all look it up. But this is cool. So there was your ads. Here is your directions. Jeez. I'm not going to go into detail with these. When we do our updates, 
I when I when I start building this because I'm gonna build this. This is gonna be a winter project because I want to take my time on it and really really do this right. Uh, like I said, I'm geeking out right now, big time. But when I do an update, a build update on this, I will show on the directions where we are in the kit, and we'll go from there. All right. So there is our 1909 Touring Model T in two pounds of metal. I am Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. And you all have a great day. And thank you very much for taking a tour back in, the, in the, my childhood here. Thanks for watching.